Girl Queens. I look a little crazy right now because I'm in the process of doing my makeup, but I just wanted to put a little um, clip in the beginning of this video. I apologize that my editing quality is not um, up to par as it normally is. Um, I'm having some issues with my editing software on my computer, so I edited this on my iPad. So it's not like the best, but I hope you guys still like it. Um, but yeah, it's just a little chit chat, get ready with me, and updated makeup routine. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoy. Bye. Hey girl queens. Okay, actually, let me get my fucking life together and give you a proper intro because I'm literally- I don't have any brain cells right now. Hi, it's me again. I'm back. It's laying the game. Um, I wanted to- Okay, so I woke up this morning. Well, not this morning, this afternoon, right? And I woke up and I was like, I'm going to film an updated makeup routine today. And then I sat down on my vanity and just didn't turn my camera on. So we're going to be st starting from like step three. Anyways, hi, I want to give you an updated makeup routine because I've found a couple new products I like and just like want to share it with you, want to fulfill my beauty guru fantasy, uh, my Vogue fantasy. I will be in one of those videos one day. Let's just get right into it, except that I already started. Um, So first, I moisturized with the Ordinary... Uh, moisturizer and then I put on a, like a light amount of that and then I put put on a little more but I mix it with my Dr. Jart Cica Pair um color correcting treatment because I like how it color corrects my whole face um and moisturizes at the same time and then after that what did I do oh I used some of my Eminence um wild plum eye cream I really like this stuff shout out to Maddie um because she got it for me and then what did I do next I primed normally I will mix primers but today I decided not to because when I've done this the past couple times my makeup looked really flaky and cakey and didn't stay on well so the only primer I used today was the elf halo glow I normally mix it with the elf power grip but like i said it has been working that great so we're gonna go with this just this one today and now i'm putting on my nars radiant creamy concealer i normally spot conceal with the pot one the fucking motherfucking this one um but it's like literally down to the last bit and i'm using it very sparingly until i can get a new one because i'm broke um but now i have a sponge and we're gonna blend it all yeah that's where I'm at. Um, I don't know if this is going to cover that well, so we might have to use a little bit of my first pot one, but we'll see what happens because I've been breaking out like fucking crazy. My skin is giving me no peace. And I'm literally just doing makeup today to just make myself feel good about myself because I literally, my self-esteem has just plummeted because... I've fallen into a rut and I'm gonna make a more like I want to make a video on like how I get myself out of a rut when dealing with a chronic illness um because I don't know I just want to share what has worked for me because I know some people struggle to find like different things to do and I just want to share a little bit of my story what works works for me so stay tuned for a video on that um but I'm just blending this I just got a new NARS concealer there's nothing better than just a new makeup product that you like it to use it's like so exciting and fun and i love it and we're definitely gonna need to spot conceal that one some of these i might just leave because i'm gonna put powder on anyways and they're probably gonna end up resolving with just powder over them but my honestly my skin has never been this bad i don't know well it probably is because i don't have a skincare routine right now because now that i know i have like a mast cell problem going on i don't know what I should be putting on my skin. And then I think like, have I been allergic to makeup this entire time? Like, are the things I'm putting on my face, can I actually put them on my face? Am I allergic to them and I just don't know it? Don't know. Um, I have to call back the rheumatologist tomorrow because I have questions and they have my results from my 24 hour piss <laughs> test. So I'm nervous about that, but I'm looking forward to getting my results um i freaking love this concealer sorry just had to express that really quick now i'm gonna use a little bit of this one because even though i don't want to i'm going to i went to sephora the other day to get it and the way like the nars end cap was set up i thought they had it and then i looked and it was at the very very bottom and i was like fuck it's gone so i couldn't get it 
and I've been devastated ever since. I just don't understand why bad things happen to good people, you know? Like, I don't understand how that's fair to me. Anyway, just gonna put it on the little spots. I went to Miss A the other day and got a shit ton of stuff too. And normally when I do my eyeshadow, I honestly, just depending on the day, I'll do a different color, um, like, a, like a colorful look, or I'll do like a neutral look. Today, I kind of want to do something a little out there, not like super colorful, like not like blue or green or something, but maybe a little bit of like a pink. And then I got this new uh, Wonder Glitz. It's like a glitter topper and it's like so pretty. And I just want to, I want to try it today just because. And also, I think I'm supposed to take my medicine. Oh, okay. In like five minutes. I don't know what it is, but the past couple days, my stomach, girl, she's been like fucking had me fucked up. Um, also, I'm just going to be chit-chatting throughout this entire thing. I was going to make it like a time lapse, but what, what's interesting about a time lapse? Nothing. It's like kind of boring. I don't want you guys to be bored. Okay, that's way better. It's not like fully covered, but it's way better than before. Bum, bum, bum. I guess I like NARS, apparently. I like, I've used two NARS, con NAR? NAR? I've used two NARS concealers. And now I'm going to use NARS powder to bake. I don't know if I'm... I still can't really tell if I like this powder, to be honest with y'all. Like, it's kind of good for just my under eyes. If I set anywhere else on my face, it doesn't look right. Even with my under eyes, sometimes I have to mix it with another powder just for it to look right, you know? Because I'm like, I gotta look right. I, I mean, I don't have to be at all times, but when you do your makeup, you want to look hot. You know what I'm saying? um okay this is about as full coverage as we're getting without foundation if i was gonna use foundation i have and haven't lately it depends on the day but if i was gonna use it i would use i would mix the l'oreal paris uh infallible pro glow and the milani conceal and perfect i would mix those but i'm not today because i've been breaking out and i don't want to make it worse even though I just caked on so much concealer, like it's unreal. I basically use concealer as foundation at this point. Um, anyways, now I'm going to set me under eyes with, with this little powder puff and the NARS translucent crystal powder. I have like a mini of it. I do like it, but I don't, I don't know. I don't know if I would buy a full size. I think that's safe to say. Like, I don't know. And now I just boop a doop, boop a doop, like that. And boom. And also, my brows are like kind of whack. Like, I accidentally over plucked them a few nights ago, like a week or two ago. And now I'm like, literally, don't let, no one should let me touch them. Don't let me touch them anymore. Like, if I'm gonna get them done, I need to go to my normal brow stylist that's been doing my brows for years because I apparently cannot be trusted and I have no like self-control and then I just end up over fucking them up and it's all my fault and what happened to all that coverage literally what now I'm upset um so normally when that happens I'll take my Ramel stay matte powder in my puff and just fucking cake it because I'm tired of my blemishes I'm just tired okay like I don't understand why like every time I think my skin is like finally clearing up like I only have like one or two pimples left no bitch psych it says psych and then I just cry anyways I'm baking my whole forehead with that same powder I basically just like fucking pat this all over my face and then I'll take a brush and kind of brush it or like you know and why every fucking time every single time I do my makeup after I've done my base my nose wants to start freaking the fuck out and like itching and running like bitch you have the audacity to ruin my moment like that um anyways we're not gonna talk about it because it makes me mad i was actually having a good like start to my day today because normally well okay my i have pots right my like my heart rate has been whack as fuck the past two days like literally 
um and this is normally the case i don't know why i'm like surprised about it i don't even know if i'm surprised i think i'm just frustrated like because it is genuinely frustrating when you like all you do is go take a piss and your heart rate shoots up to 160. like imagine imagine how tired we are of it like i'm so tired of it and that was kind of the case today even though i wear my compression socks even though i try my best to stay hydrated and eat salt it's like i can't win and it's really annoying anyways now i'm using my tower 28 uh brontino in sun coast also i went to sephora for a primer did i get a primer no because i can't focus on anything it's getting ridiculous at this point like i i can't get my fucking he like brain to focus on one thing and i have to be overstimulated at all times but then i have breakdowns about how overstimulated i am and overwhelmed and i don't want to like self-diagnose myself or anything right but i was telling my mom the other day and my neurologist kind of suggested it at my last appointment when i was diagnosed with adhd um how okay so i have ehlers danlos syndrome and pots and mast cell activation syndrome if you don't know what those are I have a video well actually no i don't have a video because i haven't uploaded it yet um but i'll leave some links below or you can just google it like google is so easy to use like anyways um but basically how do i explain it there's a lot of different things that can be comorbid uh with those as well right because when i was diagnosed with pots i didn't really know that like there was more to it than just the pots right because i was 17 and not that smart and it got lost in translation like between my doctors anyways that's not the point basically adhd and i don't know if i'm gonna get like taken down for saying this word i don't know because youtube is weird um and if they do take me down for that that's fucking fucked up but um adhd and autism are also comorbid and can be a possibility so i'm not saying i have it i'm just saying it is a possibility and i do identify with a lot of the symptoms and like neurologically um it's something i think i should have checked out but yeah sometimes i'm like bro like everything gets too much to where i just cry and sob and that's kind of sad and i don't want to make this video like sad or sappy but Anyways, it's just something that's kind of been on my mind um, and I think is worth getting looked at, right? Also because so many people are getting diagnosed with it now, like like adult ADHD, because I don't really know. When I was a kid and I was evaluated for ADHD, I didn't, they said I didn't have it, right? But I feel like I've literally developed it in the past. I don't know, like, because I was telling my neurologist like i've had this cognitive decline like i genuinely that is horrible why did i do that um uh, this is the nars bronzer in laguna i just used way too much but we'll figure it out um fuck what was i saying i fucking forgot i need to take my pill so i'm gonna do that but it's over there my drugs um that's not funny I'm joking, okay? Um, Normalite is my bestie. It should sponsor me because I'm obsessed. I should have taken my pill way earlier, but apparently you're supposed to take it 24 hours apart, and I try to stick to that, but like when you take it at 1 p.m. or 1.30, yeah, I don't know. Um, what was I saying before? This always fucking happens, because I have no, I, I'll say it once, I'll say it again, I have no brain cells. I always do this thing where I look at what I'm taking and then I'll put it down and take the pill and I'm like, wait, what did I just take? And I'm like, what if I took something else? Because I have my little like emotional support <laughs> medicine bag with my name on it that I carry around with me around the house because I never know when a symptom is going to hit. But I'm like, oh, what if I took something in there and didn't know it? Like, girl, I know what this pill looks like. I'm just being a silly, goofy goober. I actually am hungry today, which is good because the past couple of days, my stomach had me like, whoo, but today is feeling a little bit better, so that's good. 
Also, I have this forehead wrinkle that literally like ruins my life. I don't know what to do about it. But now I'm using the Milani Luminoso blush. Um, I normally use this one or the Milani Tea Rose blush. Um, but I feel like using this one today. And I just smile and put it at the like tops of my cheeks, a little on my nose, and just kind of spread it all over my face because I love blush. And uh, now I'm I'm also gonna put some kind of as my shadow, my eyeshadow, because I just like doing that. I think it's cute. Now we can do brows. I'm using. I normally don't use this. I actually just got this the other day. Um, normally I use the precisely my brow by benefit but I want to save this as well because there's not that much left so um, I'm kind of trying to be more mindful about how much I'm using so I am using this Miss A slim brow it's essentially the same exact thing like it's just a brow pencil I don't know why I bought a $24 one um actually that one came in the set so it wasn't exactly $24 but this one's a dollar and it's my shade and it does the same thing so we're gonna use this um and normally i just go in the front of my brows and underneath and then brush the rest through just because my brows are already like super full and i don't need that much kind of just like that I'm trying to make sure they're even most times i don't succeed at that though and bro who is blowing up my phone you used to call me on my cell phone bow, bow. That's about as good as we're gonna get, babe. Unless this actually is a really good shade match. And it was a dollar, bitch. Girl, let me go buy 10 because I love a good bargain. I get so annoyed when, like, like I said, I get overstimulated. So then I just isolate myself for the whole day because of how annoyed and, like, irritable I get. Bro, if my watch vibrates one more time, I'm gonna, like, I have the urge to just scream and throw it across the room. And that's not normal. I, like, might be insane. So that's really cool. Um, anyways, I'm gonna brush through my brows and hope that they don't look like ass. That's pretty much all I do. Uh, and naturally, like, I feel like my brows are fine. But I like, I like filling them in a little bit. I just like it, okay? Mm, this arch is like, or this whatever the fuck is way higher. Which annoys me. Oh, that's even worse. Okay. This is what happens every time. Bro, how- that's literally crazy. It's literally whack as fuck. And then, I regret filling them in at all. Cause, what the fuck? Like, they're just so irritating. I'm irritated. You know what? We're just gonna call it- Just drop the freaking lid to the pencil. We're just gonna call it a day. We're just gonna call it done, okay? Because the more I sit here and try to fix them, the more I'm going to get frustrated. So, um, now it's for shadow. I want to do a little bit of pink. Um, I think I'm going to use this little Morphe palette. I use this a lot. Like, a lot, a lot. Because um, it was, like, really cheap. Um, but now I'm going to take this shade, that one, and just kind of put it all over my crease. Kind of mixed in with the blush and the bronzer. Um, it's pretty pigmented, so I have to, like, tap it a lot, but I can't even remember the last time I did, like, a sit-down makeup video that, like, wasn't a horrible makeup look from when I was, like, 17. I was watching my old videos the other day, and I was like, this is the cringiest thing I've ever seen. But then I was like, oh, I kind of love her. I kind of want to give her a hug and tell her that everything's gonna be okay. So now that we've done that, I am gonna take a little bit of this matte shade um, just that light one, so I have a little bit of a base for the, uh, glitter stuff to go over, which I don't know if that's how you're supposed to do it. I do have NYX, like, glitter glue, but I don't feel like doing all that because that's, like, a whole hassle to get off, and I'm not really down for that. Normally, if I wasn't using this, I would just use, like, a highlight shade, like, I normally use my highlighter and put it on the inner, like, upper part. And then on my inner corner and that's all i would do and i'm probably going to do that as well as this because i just want to try it i don't know i just want to fucking try it um where did my color pop i normally use my color pop highlight because i really like her and just like that because i like how it gives a little bit of a glow like it gives more dimension to my eyes 
Yes. Like that. Oh, not me like creaming my pants because of it. It's just so pretty. I really like it. See, this is like my therapy. Like I, I have a therapist, but this is like my therapy. Like this is when I feel most calm and like myself. It's just doing my makeup. And I wish all those years ago that like I posted all the makeup videos. And even now to this day, like I film them all the time and never post them. I film so many things and never post them because I get so like, I just want to be in my little comfort zone that I don't like actually post what I want to post. And that's what I'm working on for 2023 is getting better with that and just being my fucking self, like expressing myself and not being scared to do it. Anyways, now we're gonna try it out. There's like little hearts and stars in the glitter. It's so cute. Oh, that's so pretty. What the fuck? Oh my God, you're kidding. And this was literally a dollar, bro. I can't get over it. I can't get over it. That is so pretty. Look at that. I'm obsessed. I wish I got all of the colors. I'm gonna have to go back. Cause this is so fucking pretty. Excuse my French, but oh my God. It is burning slightly, but we're just gonna ignore that, okay? For the vibes. Okay, I put that a little too high up. We're gonna have to fix that. Now I'm getting carried away. This is what happens. I'll always like sit down like before I do my makeup and I'm like, I'm just doing a natural look today. Like that's what I was, that's what I was thinking today. And then I was like, well, I want to film a video. Well, I want to do this. Well, I want to do that. So then I got carried away as you can see. So now I'm taking this just like crease brush to kind of, whoa, that looks fucking crazy. Look how it shifts. <gasps> This is my new obsession. Don't sell this out. I'm Do I gatekeep it? I don't want to because I love y'all, but like, y'all are going to sell it out. If more than 10 people watch this video, probably not going to happen, but this. I'm putting it, I'm locking it away. That's so fucking pretty. Okay, now I'm going to do my usual eyeliner, which is a wing. I love to do little wings. Um, the eyeliners I use are the Physician's Formula ones i freaking love these i've been really into the brown one lately i think i'm gonna use the brown again today because i'm just obsessed with it um but these are really good especially the black waterproof one if you need a good black waterproof eyeliner this is your gal um but normally i start out and i'm like just a little wing and then it turns into a big one we'll see what happens today i kind of just start right there and go with it and honestly it's I don't really know if it is, if you could say it's a brown. Like, whenever I wear this, I don't think anyone notices that it's brown. But I do, and I like that. So, and suck my left nut. That was, like, such a 2018 thing to say. Also, I'm literally like, sprawled out like a frog. Look at my knee. This is how you know you're hyper hypermobile. If you can, like, this comfortably. Like, I'm comfortable. That's fucking whack. I have a real potty mouth today. I'm so sorry. And honestly, I need to get a new one of these. I've had this eyeliner. I don't even know how long, but it is getting kind of dry. Um, but that's the wing for today. I, Like I said, I wanted a tiny one. It just never happens like that. So it's cool. This is what being a girl is, is like struggling to get anything even. Also, I'm low-key dumb because I'm out of micellar, or I'm not out of micellar water, but I'm out of cotton pads. I don't have makeup wipes. So taking this off is gonna be interesting. Um, okay, now eyeliner is done because I personally, well, fuck, I do want to fix it. God damn it. This is, th this happens every fucking time, y'all. I'm not in love with these wings and I want to start over, but I'm not going to. I need to move this further back because like, you're a little too close for comfort. You can like see my pores and I don't like that. Uh, don't judge them, please. I'm trying. My lips are kind of crusty. I need Aquaphor, but it's all the way over there. Y'all, my back hurts so bad right now. Because I'm always sitting like the freaking hunchback of Notre Dame. And I have scoliosis. And it's not fun. This video is just me fucking complaining the whole time. I'm sorry. I don't have, like, I have one best friend. Like, I have a couple, a couple other friends. But, like, I don't be talking to anyone. It's kind of depressing. Like, I'm not going to lie to y'all. I'm fucking depressed as shit right now. And I don't have many people to talk to. I have a couple, but like, I don't want to bother them. So I just complain to my camera. And 
don't act like you don't either okay it happens to the best of us anyways now it's time for mascara i um already curled my lashes and put on my lash serum but i can't find it oh here it is it's the maybelline lash sensational serum and then i'm gonna put on this covergirl lash blast primer Maybe for the thrill of hitting you where it hurts. Give me back my girlhood. It was mine first. I need to eat. I'm like hangry. I'm in love with this eye look though. Not the wings, but the rest of it. It's so fucking pretty. Okay, now I put that on. Now it's time for mascara. I'm gonna use today. I kind of alternate between my mascaras. This one is really hard to get off, but I love it. But I either use the Maybelline Sky High um, or the Revolution Lift and Define 3D Lash. This one's really good. Or the Maybelline Total Temptation in the brown shade. I can't decide. This one's waterproof. Let's be real. I'm being real with myself. I'm probably gonna cry at some point today. So, I'll go with the waterproof, sky high, because I love her. I kind of want to put white in my lower waterline. If I had used black liner, I'd probably wear falsies with this. Oh, no. Do you see that? That little black speck, that's my worst nightmare. I'm not talking at all, because I'm very focused. Does anyone else, like, not really give a fuck if it's clumpy? Like, honestly, who cares? As long as it looks good and it like looks, your lashes are long and lifted. Like see that one little clump? Yeah, I'm gonna try to fix it. But also, if it don't fix, I don't really care. Whatever vibes. Um, now I'm gonna use, before I do my bottom mascara, my, I honestly, can I say an unpopular opinion? I really like these. Like the white one just doesn't hit, like watch. I'm showing you my freaking cornea right now. You better freaking subscribe. Like, I don't know. It just didn't, it didn't do that much for me. Whereas, let me do the other eye. Because I like when it's like really white and really noticeable. That's not that noticeable. But this, dulp, um, wet and wild multi-stick. It does better. It's a little cheaper. I don't know how much cheaper. I think it was like three or four dollars. Oh, there's definitely an eye boogie. And you know what? I'm gonna be real about it because we all get eye boogies. We all have eyeballs. This is just so much better to me. Like it's so much more like white and vibrant. Look. Duh. Like obviously I would buy this one. This one's my favorite. Boom, bitch. That's even more white and noticeable. Not because I put the next one on first. It would do this even if I didn't because that's normally what I do. But I freaking love that stuff. Now I do bottom lashes. I wish I could be like one of those girls who's really like, like really concentrated on like the perfect makeup look and like creating the perfect contour and like lines and stuff like that. And I've attempted that so many times and then I'm just like, no. Like I just kind of know what works for my face. I actually don't. I can't tell if this works for my face, but I like how it looks. So I'm just kind of like, I like how it looks. I'm gonna just fucking do that. Like who really gives a shit about your contour. As long as you're swaying and you look hot, like who cares? Deadass. That's just my opinion though. Also something kind of crazy, like kind of wacky symptom that I discovered uh, like a month ago. My pupils are different sizes, like kind of all the time. Like they're either really dilated and like humongous to where you like can't see my green in my eyes or they're like different like different variations of size but different sizes like if i i don't know if you'll be able to see it but my right one is always bigger than my left and i'll try and show you in a second once i finish this because it's kind of freaking whack like because i had seen this girl on tiktok talking about how it was one of her symptoms and i was just kind of like oh that's interesting and then i looked in the mirror a little too hard and i was like holy shit me too kind of crazy and not the clumps clumping like my mascara. I miss my best friend so fucking much. She just moved and I miss her. 
and I cry about it. And then I don't call her because I'm like stupid or something. Well, I do call her, but I've only called her a couple of times when I should be calling her like every day. But I get so carried away in my day and like forget what I'm doing. And then it's 9 p.m. And I'm like, oh, I should call her. Girl, it's bedtime. Anyways, I don't know if you'll be able to see it. Like if I focus enough, maybe you will. But they're two different sizes and it's fucking crazy. Whoa. Watching them dilate like makes me feel like I'm tripping out. The right one is bigger. Crazy. Crazy, but normally when I'm in a really bad flare, it's like obvious. Like crazy shit. Anyways, it's crazy. Crazy, crazy, crazy stuff. The human body is like so fascinating, but also like having like a chronic illness and disability like for the past nearly six years i haven't known that like i have a disability like that's fucking crazy and i it, i don't even know how to process it like i don't know i've been thinking about it a lot lately like what the fuck like just what the fuck like a big huge six year long what the fuck you know crazy 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 um now it would be time for lip oh i haven't done highlight yet what is wrong with me i'm gonna use my color pop because i love her and then i'm gonna go make some food i'm hungry anyways i'm using my color pop highlight in smoke and whistles i love this highlight and once i do this i just feel like a whole new person Highlight is genuinely like one of my main sources of happiness. You can't tell me it doesn't like boost your serotonin. Or maybe I'm just crazy and like clinically so depressed that. Never mind. Um, now I'm putting some in my inner corner and my brow bone. Does anyone still do that? Cause like I've been doing that for years. I just love it. I love how it looks. And I feel pretty now. I I I mean I feel pretty but i just my skin makes me sad and this i feel happier now i feel better i feel like i'm ready to take on the day even if i only do like one productive thing which i can do with or without makeup but like just makeup just makes you feel better um it's been 50 minutes that's crazy um, i recently got this lip gloss it's tower 28 um jelly lip gloss in xoxo i'm freaking in love with it because it's like this like neon pink it kind of reminds me of the dior lip oil the cherry shade that i haven't been able to get my hands on for months they had this for 16 bucks i love this brand even though i only have one product i still love it and um you can't tell me that's not cute it's not sticky at all either which is the best Boom, bitch. And I'm done. So now we're gonna set with the the Milani Make It Last because I love it and it's like $10. Bada bing, bada boom. Normally, right after I set, I'll take a sponge and pat it in so that it doesn't like slip or the spray doesn't make it look weird. Even though my base isn't that great, um, this helps a little just to keep it on boom you can still see my blemishes but that's okay because i feel hot now so it doesn't really matter and that is my updated makeup routine i look like pippi long stocking so let me take these out because it doesn't look as cute with my hair like this i'm using a little bit of hairspray before i take them out so that they stay even though i'm gonna wash my hair tonight probably i just put them in braids last night because my hair was annoying the shit out of me it looks so shiny what the fuck, bitch? I feel so slay now. Cause I know my hair looks good. Bro, you're lying, you're fucking lying, bro. This, why is this side less wavy? I don't know. But I'm gonna put a little more hairspray. I've also had this sweatshirt on. My True People Kind of sweatshirt for like three days now. That's not very cute. So I'm gonna change, take selfies. And yeah, that's my updated makeup routine. I hope you guys enjoyed this little style of video. Um, just kind of sitting down, speaking my truth, and um, just doing my makeup. If you 
like this video give it a thumbs up if you like me you can subscribe turn on my notifications um i'm gonna try and post at least twice a month um from here on out that's my goal so hopefully you guys will stick around um and follow me on my instagrams i've well i technically have three i have my main one my modeling one and my chronic illness one so um whichever of those interest you you can follow i don't really care you can follow all three you can follow two you can follow one um and i think that's all i gotta say i love you guys thanks for watching i'll see you later bye